Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. This video is made possible by the very kind donations of viewers like you. Thank you. If you are in a position to help this channel improve quality and grow, please visit my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. It is the 31st century, and mankind is once again at war. The battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines known as battle mechs. In 3029, Colonel Pavel Redzik, formerly a close advisor of Maximilian Liao, rebelled and established the Tignoff Free Republic. At the time, it came as a shock to most of the inner sphere. Ridzik had been a supporter of Maximilian since his earliest days. In 2990, Ridzik had assisted Maximilian in a bloodless coup, toppling his father, Tormax Liao. The two grew close, with Ridzik being rewarded for his loyalty with the command of the Stapleton's Iron Hand and being promoted to Strategic Military Director of the Capellan Confederation. He had served with distinction in 3011, leading his own forces along with the Waco's Rangers against the 42nd Avalon Harassers, breaking their siege on the planet of Thomas, among other accomplishments. The Chancellor even selected Ridzik to accompany his delegation to the wedding of Hans Davian and Melissa Steiner on Terra. To most, the two seemed lifelong friends. However, during the Fourth Secession War, Ridzik's Ticknoff commonality became cut off from the rest of the Confederation. Ridzik requested his forces be allowed to fall back to a position to safely counterattack. Despite Ridzik's reaffirming his dedication to the Confederation, Maximilian Liao rejected his request and secretly ordered his assassination as a traitor. Seemingly a harsh sentence for requesting a strategic withdrawal, but the groundwork for the split had been laid the previous year. While acting as an official Capellan delegate during the Davian Steiner wedding on Terra, Ridzik had an inappropriate relationship with Elizabeth Jordan Liao, Chancellor Maximilian Liao's wife. Ridzik was a well-known womanizer, in the past going so far as to court the Chancellor's daughter, Candace Liao. Since the affection was one-sided, Maximilian had been willing to tolerate the colonel's ambitions. However, the affair with his wife had signed Ridzik's death warrant, and the retreat had given Maximilian an official excuse to remove his former friend. Fortunately for Colonel Ridzik, his aide, Alexei Malenkov, was actually Alex Mallory, a Federated Sun spy. Having witnessed the affair on Terra, Mallory reported the issue to his handlers, and Federated Sons Intelligence began to monitor the situation. Events would come to a head when Compellan agents attempted to assassinate Ridzik in a restaurant on Elgin in February 3029. Fortunately for the Colonel, Federated Sons operatives managed to whisk him away from the explosion. After some tense negotiations with Lieutenant General Arden Sortek, Radzik would respond to the assassination attempt by declaring his former holding independent. The Free Ticknoff Republic was formed, and out of the Capellan survivors, Ridzik formed his Republic Guard regiments. The Republic's diplomats would attempt to draw support from both the new Federated Commonwealth and the Free Worlds League. The Inner Sphere would again be shocked later that year when despite overtures of friendship, the tiny power launched a major invasion of the Free Worlds League. In the summer of 3029, the first and second Tignoff Guard smashed into the world of Procyon, surprising the second Syrian Lancers and their commander, Colonel Jenny Two Feathers. For two years, Two Feathers had been occupied fighting guerrillas. Ridzik believed these guerrillas would quickly change allegiances to his Tignoff Republic once the invasion began. To help ensure the loyalty of the guerrillas, as well as sow some suspicion between the Free Worlds League and the Draconis Combine, 
Ridzik redeployed a lance of battle mix from his Second Republic Guard to the guerrillas. This lance was made up of salvaged Koreedan battle mix supplied to him by Federated Sons Intelligence. The plan worked. Even as Riddick's invasion fleet was inbound from their jump point, the Second Republican Guard lands launched an attack, one that would result in a report of a Draconis Combine attack being sent to Free Worlds League High Command. Turn 1. The Whitworth walks forward. The grasshopper turns and backs around the central skyscraper. The Atlas runs north, splitting off. The Flea walks north to back up the Griffin. The Panther walks forward. The Guillotine runs around the building, joining the Griffin. The Griffin jumps south. The Jenner walks south, joining the rest of his lance. The Whitworth opens fire with his two medium lasers, but misses the Griffin. The Grasshopper fires his large laser and LRM-5 at the Panther. The laser misses, but some of the LRMs smash into the right arm. The Atlas fires his LRM-10 and Auto Cannon 5 at the Guillotine. The missiles miss, but the Auto Cannon rounds damage the right torso. The Flea is out of firing range. The Jenner fires two of his medium lasers, missing the Griffin. The Panther fires his PPC at the Griffin, but also misses. The Guillotine fires his large laser at the approaching Atlas, but misses. The Griffin fires on the Panther with his large laser and LRM-5, the large laser melting some armor off the light mech's left arm as the missiles fly by, missing. Turn 2. The Whitworth walks forward. The Grasshopper walks into melee with the Whitworth. The Atlas runs into the plaza. The flea runs towards the Atlas. The Jenner runs forward, getting behind the Merrick mechs. The Panther walks forward, joining the Whitworth. The Griffin walks into melee with the Panther. The Guillotine walks around the building, turning south. The Guillotine Alpha strikes the Whitworth. Most of his weapons miss, the medium laser hitting the left leg and left arm. The Flea fires his dual medium laser and his flamer in both machine guns at the Atlas. Only the flamer hits, damaging the left torso. The Whitworth opens up on the Grasshopper with his three medium lasers and launches all 12 of his short-range missiles. One of the medium laser hits the larger mech's head, injuring the mech warrior within. The other two lasers hit the center and left torso. The SRMs rake across all three torsos. The Whitworth misses kicking the larger mech. The Grasshopper replies with his large laser and all four of his medium lasers. The large laser damages the Panther's right leg while the medium lasers hit the left arm, center torso, and right leg. The Grasshopper's massive foot crashes into the Panther's damaged right leg, destroying the lower leg actuator. The Atlas turns and unleashes all five SRM-6 racks at the tiny flea. Most of the missiles miss. Some of the missiles crash into the tiny mech's right torso, center torso, right arm, and left leg. The Jenner fires three of his medium lasers at the Grasshopper, but all miss. The Panther targets the Griffin with his PPC and SRM-4, the PPC connecting with the left torso while two of the missiles each hit one arm. The Panther kicks out, damaging the larger mech's left leg. The Griffin returns fire on the Panther with his large laser and both medium lasers. The large laser misses, but one of the medium laser hits the Panther's right arm. The Griffin pilot kicks out, but the Panther pilot sidesteps. The Griffin tries to turn, but the mech's foot causes a street drain to cave in. The unexpected shift causes the mech to fall backwards directly on a street light. The light somehow impales into the thin armor of the rear center torso, seizing up one of the gyro's rings. Turn 3. The damage to the Whitworth is just too much for the pilot. He falls, damaging his left arm, but gets back up, running north, hoping to meet up with the Atlas. The flea walks back behind the Whitworth. The grasshopper slips on the wet street, trying to catch himself. He damages the left arm and the armor of the rear center torso. He also stands 
and backs to the central tower. The Atlas stands still, aiming his weapons. The Griffin tries to stand but fails, falling back onto the street, crashing his right arm and left leg into the streets. He then manages to stand, running behind the Grasshopper and Guillotine. The Jenner turns around, running back to the Panther. The Panther walks back, trying to take cover behind the habitation block. The Guillotine walks into melee with the Jenner. The Jenner fires all four of his medium lasers at the Guillotine, two miss, but the other two hit the center torso. The Panther fires both his PPC and SRM-4 at the guillotine. The PPC damages the right arm while two missiles hit the left torso and one the left arm. The guillotine fires all of his weapons at the Jenner, the large laser melting through the thin armor of the rear center torso but misses anything vital. Two of the medium lasers hit one the right arm and the other hits the left arm. The larger mech's foot misses the smaller mech. The Griffin opens up on the Atlas with his large laser, both medium lasers, and his LRM-5. Scoring a single medium laser hit to the assault mech's left arm, the Whitworth cools his mech. The flea fires both medium lasers, his flamer, and both machine guns at the Whitworth. A medium laser hits the right arm. The flamer melts the last bit of structure of the right leg, causing the limb to fall off the mech. The Whitworth falls into the stream of machine gun rounds, raking the left leg as the same leg crashes into the street. The grasshopper targets the Jenner and unleashes his full arsenal. The lasers miss, and only a few of the LRMs hit the smaller mech's right arm. The Atlas targets the damaged Griffin with his auto cannon and fires all 30 of his SRMs. The Griffin catches the auto cannon round square in the chest while 24 of the missiles bloom explosions all over the struggling mech, destroying the mech's left shoulder in the process. Turn 4. The Atlas holds his ground, taking aim. The guillotine walks behind the Griffin. The Whitworth lifts up to fire. The flea walks behind the Atlas. The grasshopper holds his ground, concentrating on targeting. The Jenner runs behind the building, getting away from the larger mechs. The panther stands still. The Griffin pilot fails to keep his machine under control. He falls hard on his left torso and leg, electing not to strain the damaged gyro. He stays down, but lifts up to fire. The Griffin's large laser, his dual medium lasers, and his LRM-5 shoots out at the Atlas. A medium laser hits the right torso, while some of the missiles hit the left torso. The Whitworth fires his two medium lasers and both SRM-6 racks at the flea, the medium laser destroying the smaller mech's right arm, while missiles explode again against the thin rear armor of the torsos destroying the right torso. The flea responds with his remaining weapons at the Atlas, the flamer heating up the assault. The Atlas targets the Grasshopper, firing his LRM-10, his auto cannon, both medium lasers, and one of his SRM-6 racks. The medium lasers hit the left torso and right leg, while the auto cannon rounds crash against the armor of the right torso. Most of the long-range missiles explode against the center torso, while SRMs crash into the right arm and torso. The guillotine fires his large laser and all four mediums at the Atlas, missing with all but a single medium laser, hitting the assault mech center torso. The grasshopper also unloads on the assault mech, firing all of his weapons. The large laser melting armor off the left arm. The medium lasers hit the head, center torso, right leg, and a second medium laser melts through the damaged armor of the head, leaving the mech warrior within injured and completely unprotected. The LRMs hit the left leg. The Jenner holds his fire, cooling his mech. The Panther fires his PPC and missiles at the Grasshopper. The missiles miss, but the PPC blast catches the larger mech in the center torso. Turn 5. The Whitworth lifts up to fire. The Flea backs away from the Atlas. The Atlas walks forward and turns. The Guillotine backs up, trying to flank the Atlas. The Grasshopper runs south, trying to engage the Jenner. The Jenner races back, getting into melee with the flea. The Panther backs away from the Grasshopper. The Griffin lifts up to fire. The Grasshopper unleashes all of his weapons, this time on the Panther, but most of his weapons miss. A medium laser catching the center torso, and some missiles hit the left leg. 
The Whitworth fires all of his weapons at the guillotine, one of the medium lasers scoring a hit on the mech's head while the others hit the arms. SRM explosions bloom all over the mech, one destroying the Griffin's SRM rack. The flea fires on the Jenner, a machine gun hit damaging the center torso while he kicks the left leg. The Atlas targets the downed Griffin, firing both medium lasers, his AC-5, three of his SRM-6 racks. One of the medium lasers hits the left leg, destroying the mech's hip and a heat sink. The autocannon misses, but missiles rip into the mech at nearly every location, but only manages to destroy a single jump jet. The guillotine fires his lasers at the Atlas, the large laser hitting the left arm, while the mediums damage the right arm, left torso, and left arm. The Jenner fires all four of his medium lasers at the flea but misses. He kicks out, ripping the tiny mech's right leg off, causing it to fall hard on its center torso. The Panther fires his PPC and SRM at the Grasshopper, but misses. The Griffin looks up at the approaching Atlas and pulls the ejection lever. Turn six. The Panther stands still. The Whitworth pilot and the Flea pilot both eject from their crippled mechs. The Atlas runs towards the Grasshopper. The guillotine chases down the Atlas. The Grasshopper chases the Panther. The Jenner chases the Grasshopper, getting behind him. The Grasshopper targets the Panther with his lasers. The large laser damages the center torso, and the medium lasers hit the right torso and left arm. The Grasshopper lands a hard kick on the Panther's right leg, heavily damaging it. The Jenner fires his quad medium lasers at the Grasshopper, missing with all but one hit to the right arm. He kicks out, hitting the larger mech's right leg. The Atlas holds his fire. The guillotine fires his lasers into the rear of the Atlas, the large laser damaging the rear of the left torso, the medium lasers damaging the armor of the rear center torso, right leg, and blows the hand off the left arm. The Panther Mech Warrior returns fire on the Grasshopper, but misses with his PPC and SRMs. He kicks out, hitting the Mech's right leg. Turn seven. The Atlas backs away, putting his back to the central skyscraper. The Jenner walks backward, trying to help the Atlas. The Grasshopper tries to stay in melee with the Panther. The guillotine stands still, taking aim. The Panther jumps, putting his back to the apartment building. The Atlas targets the guillotine, unleashing his full arsenal. The LRMs and auto cannon miss. The medium lasers hit the left torso and leg, while 18 of the 30 SRMs bloom explosions all over the mech. The Grasshopper cannot track the airborne Panther. The Jenner holds his fire, cooling down. The guillotine again fires on the Atlas with all of his lasers. The large laser hitting the right torso and the medium lasers hit the center torso, right arm and right leg. The Panther fires his SRM-4 at the Grasshopper, but misses. Turn eight. The Panther jumps around the apartment building. The Jenner backs away, trying to set up an attack run. The guillotine turns and runs into melee with the landing Panther. The Atlas takes aim. The Grasshopper leaps on top of the apartment complex. The Panther fires his SRM-4 at the approaching guillotine. The SRM's hitting the center torso and right arm. He kicks out, hitting the larger mech's right leg. The Atlas fires his autocannon and two SRM-6 racks at the guillotine. His autocannon rounds hit the right leg and the SRM's hit the right and left arm and the rear left torso destroying one of the medium lasers in the process. The Grasshopper fires his four medium lasers down at the Panther, missing with three but one hitting the smaller mech's head. The guillotine fires his remaining lasers at the Panther, the large laser destroying the mech's left arm and the medium laser hits the right leg. A thundering kick almost destroys the Panther's left leg, crushing a jump jet exhaust nozzle. Turn nine. The Jenner turns and runs into melee with the guillotine. The guillotine backs away from the Panther and Jenner. The Atlas chases down the guillotine. The Panther pilot just cannot keep control over his damaged mech. He falls onto his left torso. He manages to stand and run toward the Atlas. The Grasshopper stays on top of the habitation block. The Panther fires his TPC and SRM at the guillotine, 
The PPC misses, a missile hitting the center torso and left leg. The Jenner fires three of his medium lasers at the guillotine, one hitting the mech's right arm. The Grasshopper fires all of his weapons down at the Panther, trying to finish off the light mech, but most of his weapons miss. A medium laser hitting the rear right torso, while some LRMs hit the rear left torso. The guillotine again fires all of his remaining lasers at the Atlas. The large laser hits the right arm, while a medium laser hits each arm. The Atlas targets the guillotine, unleashing all of his SRMs in both medium lasers. A laser hits the right torso, while SRMs crash into the center torso, right torso, destroying two heat sinks. The 100-ton assault mech's massive foot rips the guillotine's left leg off, causing the mech to tumble backward, falling flat on its rear, left, and right torsos. Turn 10. The Atlas holds his ground. The Panther backs away. The Jenner turns, trying to box in the Grasshopper. The Grasshopper jumps down near the Atlas, trying to distract him from the fallen guillotine. The guillotine crawls away. The Atlas turns and fires three of his SRM-6 banks at the Grasshopper. Twelve of the missiles pepper the mech, destroying a heat sink. The Panther fires his PPC at the Grasshopper, hitting its right torso. The guillotine lifts up and fires on the Atlas. A single medium laser hits the left torso. The Jenner fires his three medium lasers at the Grasshopper but misses. The Grasshopper fires his four medium lasers at the Atlas, hitting the left leg and right arm. Turn 11. The Jenner turns and runs at the downed guillotine. The Grasshopper turns and runs. The Atlas backs up, trying to follow the Grasshopper. The Panther backs up, keeping the Grasshopper optimal PPC range. The guillotine crawls behind the Jenner. The Jenner flips arms and fires his medium lasers at the guillotine, hitting the right leg twice and the left arm. The guillotine fires his lasers at the Atlas again, but misses. The Panther fires his PPC and SRM-4 at the Grasshopper, but misses. The Grasshopper fires his large laser and his medium lasers at the Atlas, one medium laser hitting the right arm. The Atlas returns fire on the Grasshopper with his auto cannon and both medium lasers. The auto cannon rounds hitting the left arm and the medium lasers hit the left leg and center torso, heavily damaging the mech's gyro. Turn 12. The Jenner runs away from the downed guillotine. The guillotine lifts up to fire. The Atlas walks up on the downed guillotine. The Panther walks up on the grasshopper. The grasshopper walks getting behind the Atlas. The guillotine pilot looks up at the 100-ton assault mech above him and ejects. The Atlas holds his fire. The Panther targets the grasshopper with his PPC and SRM-4, the PPC hitting the left arm. The grasshopper fires his lasers at the rear of the Atlas, savaging the assault mech, nearly destroying the mech's engine and damaging the mech's gyro. The Jenner has no target. Turn 13. The Grasshopper jumps away from the Atlas. The Atlas falls hard on his left torso and left arm. The Mech Warrior somehow manages to stay conscious despite his critical injuries. The Panther backs up trying to keep the Grasshopper in his sights. The Jenner runs into melee with the Grasshopper trying to block his escape. The Panther fires on the Grasshopper. His PPC hits the left torso, destroying a heat sink. The Grasshopper fires all of his medium lasers at the Jenner, two lasers nearly destroying the left arm, slagging one of the medium lasers in the process. The Jenner fires his remaining medium lasers at the Grasshopper, destroying the mech's left torso and kicking the mech's left leg. The Atlas pilot manages to squeeze his trigger, firing his AC-5 and RM-10, but both miss the Grasshopper. Turn 14. The Panther pilot backs away. Struggling with the controls of his crippled mech, the Grasshopper pilot manages to keep control and jumps, escaping deeper into the city. Aftermath Pavel Ridzik's ruse 
was successful sowing confusion on Procyon. The brutal battle saw the Syrian lands all but destroyed, bolstering the insurgents as well as leading to reports of Draconis mechs on Procyon. Ultimately, the operation would serve very little purpose. Before the reports could even reach the wider Free Worlds League, Ridzik would arrive in person with two full battle mech regiments plus 12 full conventional regiments to take the planet. Despite the attempts of the second Syrian lancers to resist, the Tignoff Republic forces quickly gained air superiority, especially with the involvement of Ridzik's flagship, the Omaha Beach. The Vengeance-class carrier, while nowhere near as powerful as a full-on warship, did allow for power projection while being all but impervious to attack. By the time Ridzik and his family's antique thunderbolt made planetfall, all chatter of Draconis Combine Raiders had ceased. Overall, the operation would shock the inner sphere, but perhaps none more than the Tignoff diplomats to the Free Worlds League who had been kept completely out of the loop. While the political fallout was forthcoming, the fighting on Procyon had truly begun. Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. Thank you for watching my content. It really means a lot that you have given me the chance to entertain you. If you would like to support the channel, please visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. Also below is a link for PayPal, or links if you would like to send crypto, if that's more your thing. Please know any amount that you give will be cherished and used to upgrade equipment and improve the channel. You can also help the channel by subscribing, turning on notifications, liking, commenting, and sharing my channel with anyone you think might be interested. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come.